something, just told him we needed to go get in the bathroom. So we all went in the bathroom and within maybe 10 seconds of him coming in there and having us getting in the bathroom, the house shifted three times and like off its foundation and then basically exploded and we were sucked out. It's still upsetting and I still get really upset, you know, thinking about this was my house. It's where I spent 19 years of my life. So, of course, that being taken away from me, but it's crazy. It doesn't seem like it's been almost a year. Now, you've been through a lot in the past year. What have you been through? Hmm. Um, it's been several changes. Living arrangements, we no longer, or as of right now, are living by ourselves. We live with my grandparents. So that's, of course, a change. It seemed like forever. I mean, it was probably a matter of minutes. Like I said, it seemed like it took forever, but it was almost, once everybody came out, about two minutes, maybe. Now, I've been told that something kind of interesting happened to you. Yes. Um, when you were being pulled into the ambulance, what was happening? It was actually when I was being sucked out of the house that it happened. Okay. Um, so we were last right there. And my dad's praying, I'm praying. My mom and brother are upset. House shifts were sucked out. From the time, I remember my feet being pulled out from under me and sucked out. But from then on, the next thing I remember is being in this place. It was just the prettiest blue you can imagine. I can't tell you, I mean, it's not the color of the sky now. Um, I can't really describe the blue. It's just the prettiest blue I've ever seen. There were no walls, there was no floor. It was just open area. Um, when I looked down, I was on my knees and I was wearing white. I didn't have dirt on me. I was like clean, there were no cuts, nothing. And when I looked up, there's almost like a circle of people around me. They're all wearing white. No about you, there wasn't really facial features, but you could tell that they were somewhat smiling, if that makes sense. There wasn't tall, there wasn't short, there wasn't fat, there wasn't skinny, there wasn't color, like a faces, everybody just was the same. And I remember just feeling at peace. I've never felt as comfortable as I felt before. Um, I was fine with where I was and I was content. And uh, all of a sudden after being where I was, um, I heard a cry. And as the cry got louder, where I was got more distant. Um, and I would start to feel pain. And then it was almost like I could feel myself being like pushed back into my body and I heard my, or I looked over as stuff is still flying and my dad's laying beside me saying, Lord, please don't let me lose my family. I can't do this. And I truly believe that I did see the realms of heaven and my dad, by hearing him, is the only thing that brought me back. And that was my wake up call. I'm gonna double up my efforts on my microphone. Bear with me for a second. I'll hold it for okay. I wanna ask you uh, about something that happened also during this time of peace that helped save others or find others. Explain that to me. I, um, I told her of two different people that died that I do not know. And when a couple hours later, they actually did find those two people dead and they were in the two spots that I had said, uh, that I had told her they were. I mean, I really don't know. I've tried thinking back to it. I don't remember telling them that, but they will still tell you to this day that I did tell them. And I mean, I think it's odd that I did know, but um, to me, that's just even more confirmation of where I was, because how would I have known somebody that was, you know, four minutes away from here had died, and why would I pick two people that I don't have a clue who they are? What I, what I guess that everybody wonders when they hear your story right now is, do you think for a moment of time, those two minutes, you know, thrown from the, thrown from the house, do you think you briefly, um, briefly passed away? Did I actually die? I'm not sure. I know that I saw things that other people haven't seen that are here. Mm -hmm. So I guess 
Yeah, for a second I do think I was gone. And hearing my dad crying and praying that that is what the reason that I'm still here. And to tell other people my story and help them. How do you feel now telling your story? I feel good about it. Before, I was never the type. I would let you believe what you wanted to believe. I wasn't going to be the person that would, you know, push it on you and push my beliefs. But now, I don't know if anybody's ever interested. I love telling my story because I'm confident. I feel like a better person and a better Christian.